everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. So my autumn Yankee candles turned up just in time for me to schedule them for before I went away. So I'm really pleased to be able to get these out for you even though I'm not actually here and I'm scheduling ahead of time. Um, Logan wanted to be included today. Um, even though I'm not going to be here I still wanted to get these autumn candles out for you now they've started to be like started to come out online and in the stores. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do two at a time, I'll do two in this video and I'll do two in my next video. So today I'm going to start off with A Night Under the Stars and Peak and Pie Bites. So I don't know why I went with these two first, they're just the two I picked off the pile, but I'm so grateful that Wax Addicts sent me these just in time for me to get reviewed because I didn't want it to end up being too late. I like trying to be ahead of everything so you guys can get out there and buy them um, before they start being discontinued again. Um, so yeah, I'll review on A Night Under the Stars first. So we've got, I don't know, you can see it a little bit left in there. It's like a really dark blue colour. I will put in pictures as I go along as well of each candle and in the next video, just because I like to see what it looks like as well in the actual jar. Um, and you can also find all of this information and the wax crumble pots on the Wax Addicts website. So this is where I'm getting all of my information from, just so it's all together. So A Night Under the Stars, the notes for this are leather, spices, driftwood, Cloves, saffron, rose, incense, patchouli and cedarwood. So for me, on cold it smelt a little bit aftershavey and that is the main sort of impression I get from this, this candle. So it's a bit aftershavey, a bit musky. Um, I would say the main notes that come through for me are the leather, the spices, cloves, saffron and incense. So it's not too like pow in your face um, aftershave. It's not like that, not perfumey or anything. But it's just that that undertone of the musk comes through quite a bit. Um, the leather and the spices. It's a really nice scent. Um, perfect for autumn. I think they've released it really at the right time. I've really enjoyed burning it. I didn't think I would. I didn't think it would be a scent that was really for me. But I have really enjoyed burning it. I'd say throw rating 8 out of 10 I think if you was burning this with the jar under the lamp like what I normally use I think it would be absolutely amazing um really nice really strong and like I say I think it is a bit of a manlier smell um so if you do normally like your musky smells after shavy then this is definitely a good one for you to try um and then we've got pecan pie bites so pecan pie bites um it's, it's like a dark brownie colour um, and again, I will put the picture in now. So, Peak and Pie Bites says cinnamon leaves, caramelised sugar and pure honey with white hazelnuts, pecans, dark chocolate, cloves, oak wood and smoked cedar. So, I was expecting this to be one of my favourites, but unfortunately, once I was burning them, I figured it wasn't. Um, a Night Under the Stars, I thought, would be one I would dislike the most out of all four obviously I haven't reviewed the other two yet so at the end of that video I will sort of say my my thoughts about all of them together but for this one I thought Peak and Pie Bites would be my favourite and it hasn't hit the mark for me A Night Under the Stars was a lot better so Peak and Pie Bites it's got cinnamon leaves in it so I expected it to be really cinnamony and um, which is obviously my favourite it wasn't um maybe a tiny bit cinnamony um, with the cloves and the oak wood and the smoked cedar so it says they're the base notes but in matter of fact I found that was what the, the most throw I got from the candle was them sort of notes so very very woody um, the cloves did come through but still the cloves and the cinnamon I wanted that to be more um, I do normally find that autumn and winter candles do throw better than summer and spring that's just my opinion um, I just, I don't know, I find the notes that they put in them more always better. So this Pecan Pie Bites isn't great, but you could still smell it. I'd say a throw rating of 6 out of 10. I think it's just because I wanted it to be quite cinnamony, um, Christmassy in a way. But for me, it just wasn't what I expected it to be. A Night Under the Stars, absolutely lovely. I'd highly recommend it. Um, I think it's one of them scents. If you saw it in the shop, you go, oh, I remember that being really nice. So I'm definitely going to get another one. Peak and Pie Bites, I think, is a bit forgettable just because there's a lot better candles that have got the cinnamon sort of tones in it and the woody tones. Whereas this one, it was just 
if you was putting like candles in the terms of like being mild, I would say this one was very mild. And um, just nothing special about it. I just I feel like all the notes just mixed together too too easily, and not one of them stood out nicely for me. So that's my review on those two. Obviously, I will review the warm and cozy melts and the crisp campfire apples i'm expecting the apples one to be my favorite out of the two but who knows because this wasn't what i expected at all um, as you can see i have already got warm and cozy on the go ready to get this reviewed for you so yeah i'll get that review out for you very soon and then i'll do sort of a little recap of what's my favorite out of all four but thank you for watching and i'll get some new reviews out for you soon